Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today uh, this is Don's answer to the Friday challenge that we had posted. Um, so a person needed help uh, to display the grades um, for his classes uh, and he presented a sample set of data and he wanted to know which chart is suitable for, um, in this and uh, Don is a great master of Excel and uh, um, what Don decided to do is he created this awesome pivot chart so this pivot chart um, has up here what are called slicers and on the side are slicers so at the very top he has classes so you can just pick a specific class if you hold your control key down you can get multiple classes um, and on the right you can have certain exams so this slices the pivot table which fills in this pivot chart and um, if you hold your control key down you can get multiple exams for each class so and then what it has down here is a multi uh, level horizontal category access so uh, using a stacked column chart and in the stacked column chart he's got the values of each class so you can kind of compare and contrast um, and see what you would like to see by exam by class and you can compare classes so I thought this was an awesome one I've posted this sample chart up on my uh, blog so what Don did is he took the original data which was laid out in this way and what he decided was this isn't the best way to chart the data so I need to adjust it and so he has adjusted it as follows um, you can see that uh, we only have the exams up um, on the top or I should say the grades up on top uh, we have the classes going down the left um, and then we have each exam now each exam um, has the same value in here because this is all going to be used for the pivot table likewise um, he's got each class has a different value for each exam uh, most people might write it like this um, but you don't want to have it like that since you're going to be putting this in a pivot table you want to have every value for every row and then for each one of his grades he's got the count of the overall grades um, E in my day it was F's so it looks like maybe a couple people have an E, uh, e is maybe the F's um, in this case so once he's done that he highlights his entire table and he creates a pivot table by going up to insert and um, right here you have pivot table button on the top left once he creates his pivot table um, you'll see here's the pivot table that's actually using these slicers on the other page now his pivot table is just uh, repeating the data but it's allowing Excel to sort or filter um, that's what slicers are really doing they're filtering the data here so he just has the class and exam and then he has a sum of every single value since they're unique there's no um, duplicates for say class FA1 um, and exam you know V5A uh, since there's only one he's his sum is okay there because it's only going to add up as we saw before 24 9 remember uh, E1 had a value of 3 so it's just going to sum all of them since they're unique it's going to just return the 3 so after creating the pivot table um, he went ahead and created a pivot chart um, now you can find that up under your analyze button after you've created your pivot table and you click in it you click on the analyze tab uh, there is a pivot chart button uh, over on the far right so uh, once we've done that um, he has his pivot table he's created his slicers that uh, work with the pivot table now uh, we don't have enough time to go into how uh, to install the slicers in here but he gave me a great tutorial and this is uh, uh, by another Excel MVP data pig technologies um, it's an awesome blog that he has out there and there is a um, uh, posting get fancy with your Excel slicers a great way to learn a lot more about slicers I'd suggest you head on over there um, so that you can learn how to make this awesome chart okay so I suggest you head on out there also uh, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel so that you're sure to get the latest greatest next post you can also head over to my blog and in the comment section um, of this video uh, to go download this sample chart thank you